All right, well, he melted our hearts when he took the top spot on American Idol. And since then, Taylor Hicks has been unstoppable. That's right. Dude, thank you for being here. Yes, How thank are you. you. So, Great, I was, I'm, I'm like, when I come into town after tours and stuff, I'm like in my underwear. It's the afternoon. <laughs> right. Yes. I'm doing some laundry, yeah. watching you guys. I love it. We got the underwear yes. visual. That's right. I, like yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. That's amazing. We can't see you, but you, you can, can see, see us. You yeah. Yeah. Can see and, and you've done it all. I yeah. mean, platinum, Grammy winner, right? Watching in your underwear, all the <laughs> things. Um, and, and your new single. I want to talk about that, by the way, which I think is going to be like one of those wedding song anthems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's, tell it's us a, about it. Well, we. Teach Me to Dance is a wonderful song um, that, you know, really hits the heartstrings. And I just love the idea, you know, uh, I Hope Your Dance it was just yeah. such a big song. It's kind of a graduation from, from that, I yeah. Hope You Dance, to Teach Me to Dance. Right. Um, it was written by Victoria Shaw. Uh, it was on hold for Garth. Garth Brooks wanted to cut it in like 1987. Oh. And he never did. And Victoria and I were talking, and Victoria was like, have you heard Teach Me to Dance? But I was like, no. She went in down, like down in the basement, brought it up, and uh, I fell in love with it, decided to cut it. And it's just a wonderful song. Yes, very wedding heavy. Very uh, wedding heavy. Well, well, we've got to take a listen. Yes. So without further ado, here it is. Okay, the waterworks. Those it. were some fans that actually sent in videos and, and clips of their wedding, um, you know, father-daughter dances. Right. Beautiful. Um, so all it's the just, feels. yeah, it's, a, it's on all the feels song. Yeah. It's Love an important it. time in anybody's life is a wedding. So to have an anthem like that is really cool. Yeah, it's, it's a great song. I'm excited about performing it. And, and, and you also made your Opry debut like the same day you released that, right? What was that like? Well, you know, living, I've been living in and out of Nashville since I was 23. And, okay. you know, to be able to go to the Opry, um, see it, but then also dream about performing in it. You know, it's one of those things that I just, you know, was so excited to get the call. Um, you know, it like Breland says, smart kid, you know, it takes a lot of work. You have to materialize the vision. Um, and just to be able to get the call and do the Opry, it was, it was a blessing. You said it's what dreams are made of. It's so beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, I, obviously we've all, as Nashvilleians, we all go down to the Opry and, and you know, pay our respects. Mm -hmm. uh, and to be able to play it, it's just a, a dream come true. Amazing. Okay, so speaking of dream come true, uh, you won American Idol. It basically changed your entire trajectory of your life. Um, did you think that your life would look the way it does now when you first auditioned? Well, uh, you know, I just wanted to be able to go back and play better gigs. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, was, I was in Hurricane Katrina, uh, mm -hmm. and I was one of the last taxi cab rides I bought a plane ticket that was canceled, went to West Monroe. Southwest canceled my flight, but gave me a free ticket anywhere in the country. And I drove to Birmingham, flew to Vegas on a whim, and got to Vegas at, at midnight. And my brother called me and said, idle tryouts are in three hours. So I went from Katrina to Vegas on a whim and uh, tried out for American Idol. And I guess the rest is history. But it's a really, really amazing story. So. Once I realized the break, um, you know, and, and once I got through to those preliminary auditions, um, you know, it just, things kind of happened. Things kind of moved. Very blessed. But and a lot of, a lot of hard work. Ten right. years, you know, f four or five years here in Nashville in my early 20s traveling. Uh, but opportunity creates luck. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I love that you still have that and you always carry that. Yes. Well, Monica, ready to break it down in song. Taylor Hicks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, it's like the pie. Oh, oh, crushing I'm it. I'm the Pie Piper at ABC. Oh my God. Wait, I heard, fact or fiction, I heard that you bought your first harmonica at a 
flea market? Yeah, don't do that for <laughs> any aspiring harmonica players. That might not necessarily be the, the best idea. But yes, a flea market. And uh, it's been good to me ever since. Yeah, it sure has. That's great. Uh, awesome. It down. So well, yeah, thanks very much for having me. Franklin Theater. I yes, was say, we've got breaking news. Franklin yeah. Theater just announced the show. I love the Franklin Theater. If you've never been to the Franklin Theater, it's a wonderful little theater. January 19th at 8 o'clock doing a show. Um, maybe throwing some Bob Seger in there. Oh. Um, nice. Hopefully, I'll come back and see you guys early January. Please do. Play some harmonica. Yeah. Play some music. But yes. yeah, January nineteenth at the Franklin Theater. Franklin Love Theater, that. very yep. good. Breaking news. Yeah, breaking news. There you breaking go. News. There you go. Breaking news. Yes. yes. <laughs> you rock, man. Yes, we'll see you again soon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Always have a chair here. Well, you can hear the full version of his new single, "Teach Me to Dance." It's now streaming. Thank you. Soul Patrol. <laughs>